is Anjiru Mambo, founder and director of Wedge at Foods Limited, where our business is all about potatoes. We love potatoes and we do everything about potatoes. Our products are vacuum packed, French ready to cook French fries, wedges, lioness potatoes, and the whole potatoes. You need to try our products. We do an everyday delivery. Place your orders today and we shall deliver. And this is my story. My journey in agripreneurship started last year when COVID uh, hit the country and the world at large. I had a restaurant in Upper Hill, um, so we had uh, we used to do, of course, the chips and used to get somebody bring us potatoes. So in that particular month, I just got a farmer that he would bring me in large quantities because our usage was a lot. So they brought me; they were like almost 10, 15 bags. Uh, then COVID happened and we had to close down. So I had to go back with the potatoes to my house. So what I decided, I'll be selling them in the estate. And in that process of, yeah, people will come buy a bucket or two, you also realize you can't keep potatoes for so long. So even it, to some point, you are even giving it at throwaway price so that you dispose because you can't keep all those potatoes. So in that process, we just started thinking of what else to do, the value addition, and I got into a lot of my research, uh, where do people get the, the wh how, what's the market like, who needs potatoes, who are the largest consumers. I did my numbers, where do we get the potatoes, the kind that are there in the country. Um, but it's something you do and I, I was expecting, so I just packed the, the research somewhere until towards the end of the year when I decided I need to do this. So I just went into company registration and all that. And I was lucky, my first business that I was knocking at, they gave me good business that was worthwhile for the start. Yeah, so we started production uh, May this year, officially, that's when we took the place. That's actually by May the 10th, that's when we did our first delivery of our product. When we came in in May, of course, you, you know they are the big fish, the, the people have been in the market. The person who I know has been in the market longest, I think could be around 12 years. Uh, but what I realized, there's still a gap. Consumption of potatoes, same thing. The farmers, the demand is even the, what we have, uh, product, the production we have in the, from the farmers is still not enough for our kind of market. And the, I think the government, together with other organizations, they have realized that. And why, that's why they're encouraging even farmers to invest on good seed for potatoes to increase production. Um, because there's some, I think the frustration you'll find the production had gone down, but right now it's starting to come up because of the interest and uh, the education to farmers. So for me, I feel there's still a huge market out there. The end products we have, we have the chips, we have the lioness potatoes, some people call it the saute, what you order from the restaurant. Uh, we have whole potatoes, whole potatoes vacuum packs. They are companies or restaurants. These are used for mainly the mashed potato, the mashed uh, potato, the mokimo, and all that. Then you have the potato wedges. Those are the long ones. Then you have the cubes. So it's a long wedge. Then it's cut. So those are the products we have. Uh, going forward, we want to want to introduce the potato crisps, which we want to start that production from next month. When it comes to sourcing for our input, that's the potatoes. We, there is, at the beginning we had, we had to do a comparison. Is it okay to get directly from the farmer? As people will always say, if you get from the farmer it's cheaper, it's, it's good, you'll get the good quality, or is it better to source from the traders? So I've done all the, I've done both, but currently I feel like working with the traders is better, there's more consistency. I don't have to think of transport. Then the traders understand the quality we look at because a trader goes to the market or to the farmers brings everything together and they know this one is perfect for wedge hat because of their production this is okay for mamamboga who just sells by the roadside this one i'll deliver to abcd so traders are more consistent and they will always get you the right thing for farmers they can say i'll give you the right size but for that season whatever they harvest is not necessarily what they were expecting so they end up having a product that won't serve you 
very well or the the output is not at optimal because if you have smaller potatoes those are end up being wastes if you cut also a potato that is not good size the edges or the they are those chips they will be more the the what you have to you know you have to do the sorting to get the the right cut so if you don't get the right quality of potato you'll have a lot of wastage so the output versus the input and cost wise Will, will, won't make sense for us. So for now, traders work very well, but going forward in the future, I think we can pick an area where we, we like let's say we pick uh, Narok or Nakuru. We pick many farmers so that when you're able to, to get potatoes from them, we can even go and do the sorting at that point. So we know this is what we are carrying, uh, this, they know what to use it for. What you're using currently is what is commonly known as Shangi. Uh, uh, then we have something then so Shangi the good thing is very available you're very you're much assured that you'll have it in the market throughout the seasons and also it's uh, the cost cost is uh, fav uh, in terms of cost wise it's affordable um, then it has good our business is all about kgs and weight it has more it's more heavy it has less water when you look at other potatoes like the red robin, it's very good because you have a little wastage, but there are very few farmers who farm for that kind of potato. So you'll find there sometimes we'll have challenges getting it. Uh, like from my research, I realized most farmers around Naivasha are the ones who grow it. So, but there are not so many of them. So even if I get the first lot, let's say I get my 100 bags, you, you can get it for maybe two months, but now from the fourth month, from the fifth month, you'll find they don't have it. So Shangi for now remains better. Then the red robin has a lot of water. If you bring in and keep a lot, uh, as you do production, you're losing the water. Uh, you lose much water, so your weight goes down. Now we'll stick to Shangi, the business being very young and you want a good support and also what I say, you reduce the learning curve because it's what is being used and what is readily available. Use that for now, then as you do your R&D, your research and you're trying to bring in more variety because also company uh, hotels have different references. Um, let's say if someone from the Netherlands who they, 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 they are very good with potatoes and someone is running a restaurant, they want what the tastes, they are very specific in vain on the taste. So they'll start telling you, I don't like Shangi, I prefer the other the other variety. And I understand at the moment in the country we have over 65 different kind of potatoes. So as we go by, we'll always try the new ones and see. You never know, maybe in five, four years down the line, Shangyu won't be as common as it is now. As a starter, the main challenge is initially was now that consistency of potatoes and people to believe in you. You'll find most of the clients that we, we supply, their payments come in 30 days, 15 days, but the farmer or the trader want money immediately. So managing the cash flow is always a challenge at the beginning. But maybe going, going forward as you get more clients and more, we are doing more production, that will be a smooth sailing. And also if you establish relationship with these traders such that they can just bring you the potatoes, uh, you tell them I'll pay you by the end of the week or by the end of the month, it will work very well. The other challenge is when I'm running this factory, um, I'm not at full capacity. I have a lot that is a fixed cost. So until I increase my production, that's when now the business moves to the next level. I have a team, they'll always be here. So if they are not fully utilized, um, you see that remains a fixed cost. I have a car. If that car goes all the way to Kitengela, I wish I would have had more drop of points as they did the Kitengela route because uh, it's the same fuel. So for now, what the, the main challenge is we are not at optimal capacity. At the moment, you're doing a thousand kilos a day. This factory running day and night should give me uh, 5,000 to 6,000 kilos a day. Going forward, I want Wedge Hat to be known for giving the customers a chemical free product and that's why our main way of preserving is uh, vacuum packing. I know the market, the, what the market uh, will, this will be guided on the needs of the market. I've met clients who say we don't want vacuum packed, we just want, you know, you just finish processing, just putting bags and deliver. There you'll find you have to put a bit of preservative for that. 
But when you vacuum pack, it's mainly removal of air and uh, when chilled, they have a shelf life of up to five days. So my vision with Wedge Hat, uh, the market is still so huge. I'll want also to establish factories in other counties because um, uh, like I have a particular client who is telling me, I need these potatoes in Eldoret, I need these potatoes in Nyali. But it's not, it doesn't make sense, economical sense for me to serve just that market. But if I had a factory nearby to even serve other businesses around it, then it would be so good. And also, is my, uh, from a personal point, um, the kind who like empowering people and creating jobs, um, and especially for the women. 70% uh, of the factory workers are ladies, so I feel like I would want to impact more of them. And I have an age, I have the, you'll find the people we work with, it's an age of around 40 and above. So you're helping them have a source of income, feed their families, and take care of themselves. And, and also of the young people, I hope to impact on their lives, create more jobs for them. Uh, and uh, like in the, in the research, they're the best people to use. They'll go there to the, to the market, to the farm, and get you all the data that you need about potatoes. And also leading it to the market, uh, the sales, we are creating a sales team. And basically it will be more of the younger generation. And you hope as the factory grows, as we increase in our production, they're the same people who grow with us. Some kind end up being in operations, the marketing managers, the finance people. Yeah, so I look forward to that. I feel the future is in agribusiness. Even when COVID happened, people didn't stop eating, despite the, the minimal income people had. Food, people will always be eating, people will always be fed. Um, so I would encourage people, let's go, let's think about agribusiness and more so value addition. It's such a pity you'll have a farmer in Meru, they produce so much, let's say, of avocados, bananas, but the shelf life of those products is very, is, they can't keep them for so long. Today I bring a whole truck of uh, fresh vegetables to the market. If they are not sold, in the afternoon I just have to sell them at throwaway price. So I'll encourage more people, let's think about value addition. So let's encourage more people to think of value addition. There's so much that can be done. I, when I was uh, uh, doing the research on the kind of machinery I need, the factory I went, uh, the, the place I was buying the machinery, I actually realized, it's a German company, I realized the machines that are there and the people who are doing value addition and what these machines can do, it's amazing. So you just need of, to pick a product, see how you can do a value addition and increase the shelf life and benefit from it more. The same thing, I have potatoes, I produce, I, at least I have stock that I can sell for the next five days. I can do the potato crisps, where the extra potatoes I have, that's also a value addition. You package the crisps, you have stock to run you for a month. Your work is just to push it to the market. And that was my story. If you haven't tried our potatoes, you need to. Weekend is coming. Please place your orders and enjoy with your family and friends. If you have an event, make it wow and memorable. And also, remember to share your story.